Hi, welcome to our first lesson on coordinate geometry, analytical geometry. We're going to start off with circles with center 0, 0, the center at the origin. If you look at our diagram, we have a random point P, so we're going to give it coordinates X, Y. The center is at the origin, which is 0, 0. So I want you to think about this. How would we find OP? which is the radius of the circle. We are going to use the distance formula. The distance formula will state that it is the square root of x minus 0, as you can see, all squared, plus y minus 0, all squared. And if we work at x minus 0, that is x squared, plus y minus 0 is y squared. We're going to square both sides, and that will give us op squared is equal to the square and the square root will cancel off, giving us x squared plus y squared. Now note, OP is our radius. So we can say x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, which is the equation of our circle with center 0, 0. Here's our first question. Give the center and radius of the circle. Now we have the form x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Immediately, we can conclude that the center is 0, 0. Now we know that 36 is represented for r squared. So to find the radius, we will find the square root of 36 giving us 6. Let's take another question, x squared plus y squared. Well, we have the standard form, x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Immediately, we know the center is 0, 0. And the radius is the square root of 20, which is, in simplified third form, 2 root 5. So we're going to now move the, the center of the circle away from the origin. As you can see in the diagram, the center C, and we're going to give it coordinates A, B. Now, I want you to think about this. How would we find the radius CP? Well, we're going to use the distance formula, which is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared, and we're going to find the square root of that. We're going to now square both sides. So if we square both sides, we're going to get CP squared, and the square and the square root will cancel off. And we're left with x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. Now remember, cp is our radius. So we end up with the equation of a circle whose center is not at 0, 0. But remember, this equation will also work for an equation of a circle, even if we move the center to 0, 0, because a and b would become 0, 0. So this is a standard form for the equation of a circle. Please note, to find the center, we can get it directly from the equation. It will be a, b, and the radius will be the square root of our value sitting here. So let's take our first example on this types of circles. If we want to find the center, all we have to do is change the sign, which will give us a positive 2 change the sign negative 4. And our radius will be the square root of 24. And we can simplify that to 2 root 6. Or you could use a calculator to find the decimal equivalent. There's our exercise. We're going to do exercise 1 from our textbook, Mind Action Series. And we would like you to do 1 to 7. 